Well, welcome Facebook friends. We are starting a little bit late, but I have a fantastic show for you. You know, last week we discussed fatty liver, one of the leading causes of liver cirrhosis here in the United States and other parts of the world. We had a lot of viewers. Thank you so much for joining us. And today we have a very interesting topic. It's high blood pressure. High blood pressure is known as the silent killer. Why is it the silent killer? Because usually there are really no symptoms. In the United States, we have about 100 million people with high blood pressure. Maybe you're one of them. So I'm very glad that you have stopped by to listen and to interact with us today. I'm Dr. Cooper Dockery. I'm board certified in internal medicine. I have been practicing medicine for about 27 years. Over the last several years, I have changed the way I practice medicine to be more holistic, to be more inclusive using lifestyle modifications. And I've seen so many of my patients who are doing so well. Some have decreased blood pressure medications. Some have gotten off medications altogether. So today I have one of those persons here today. Mr. Freddy Peralta, he was diagnosed with high blood pressure probably over 30 years. And then he came to Cooper Wellness Center, joined the program, and he is doing very well. So I want you to share and like our program, share, make comments and like. And I want you to stay, don't go away because there's so much for you to learn. So let's welcome you again to Get Health with Dr. Cooper. And at this time, listen to the story of Pe um, Freddy Peralta. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Cooper Dockery, and you're watching Get Health with Dr. Cooper. Our topic today is high blood pressure. How can you stop it? How do you know if you have the disease? And you just listen to the story of Freddy Peralta. Very successful, got off medication, and he's here in the studio with us today. So, Freddy, why don't you join me? Pase, Freddy. Qué bien, qué bien. Bienvenido, Freddy. Gracias, doctora. Vamos Gracias. a sentarnos un tantito para hablar. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Freddy, bienvenido. Welcome to Get Health with Dr. Cooper. Now, we're going to be in and out of the language. Freddy speaks mostly Spanish, so we're going to be bilingual today. Wonderful. So, welcome, Freddy. And you have a very intriguing story. You tell us about your, your story. When were you diagnosed with high blood pressure? 
Háblanos. Ok. Uh, gracias, doctora, por la invitación. Qué bueno poder compartir, you know. Thank you, doctor, the for the story invitation. With everyone over here. Very good. And also, you know, I need to correct something that, you know, I, I, I did on the first video, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I talk about, I, you know, I put away my medicine in four months. Right. Actually, it was in only four weeks. Four weeks, yeah. right? So <laughs> you got off the medication yeah. in four weeks, four weeks, not four months. Yes. Correct. All right. So that's clarified. All yeah. right, Freddie. Talk a little bit about when were you diagnosed with high blood pressure? I think it was about 30, 31 years mm -hmm. ago. You know, the, maybe that day I went with my blood pressure was high and then mm -hmm. the doctor decided, you know, to put on medicines. Mm -hmm. And actually, you know, I was doing that for three decades, you know, 31 years, mm -hmm. that's a lot of time of my life, you know, half of my life it was taking medicine. Right. Then, um, you know, at the beginning of this year, mm -hmm. you know, I decided to do some change on my uh, lifestyle. I said, wow, why, you know, I would like to, to put away my medication, medications, you know, the mm -hmm. only bill, the only pill I take, you know, I don't want to take anymore. Right. Y cuando hice esa decisión, la, vine a consultarla a usted, usted me dio la, la idea de cómo hacerlo, you know. So when I made the decision, I came to, to Dr. Cooper and she told me how to do it. Honestamente, yo estaba incrédulo. Honestly, I was doubtful, right? Correct. Uh -huh. You know, you know I, I, because everyone told you, you know, as soon as you start taking medicines for blood pressure, it's going to be for life. Mm -hmm. But that is a life. You, that is a not life. Not true. That's not true. You know, you can change that. Right. And then, you know, after I talk to you, you, you know, you say, okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to reduce. Uh -huh. And then after that, we are going to start a program. Right. You know, that program, you know, changed my life. Right. Actually, let me tell you this. When I summarize everything mm -hmm. that I did, mm -hmm. I say I did this in 20 hours. 20 hours. Are yes. you sure about that, Freddie? Yes. That's yes. about a day, less than a day. Let me tell you this. All right, go ahead. I came to the center uh -huh. twice a week. Right. It was four hours a week. Mm -hmm. Just say five hours a week. You know? Okay. And for four weeks, if you ah. do the number, Actually, you are taking about 20 hours in a month. That's right. Got you. Now yes. I understand. So, I mean, everything needs more time to change. But right. in 20 hours in a month, you can get the idea how to do it. That's right. You know, as soon as you get the idea how to change your lifestyle in 20 hours or less, then everything is going to be easy. I wonder if people are understanding this. Freddie is saying that. Here at Cooper Wellness Center, he started the program, the 12 Weeks to Wellness program, in which he came twice a week, about two to four hours a day, because the program is a little extensive. And within 24 hours, that's about four weeks, Freddie was able to get off his medication. Now, I know that there are a lot of people thinking and wondering, so, what is this program? What did you do? Okay, Freddie, what did you change? Let's talk to the viewers. What did you change? Um, the first thing I changed, it was the perception about everything, mm -hmm. you know, education. You right. Know. The program starts with a classes, mm -hmm. you know, when they tell you about how to sleep, right. how to breathe, That's right. how to exercise, mm -hmm. how to choose food, from there, you, you go to exercise. That's right. The exercise, you know, focus on, on your problem. Mm -hmm. And from there, you go for the cooking classes. Right. So when you have education, when you have exercise, when you have the right food, you are on the right path, path to, to better health. To better health. Right, because studies have shown that the number one risk factor for chronic disease it's the food that one consumes. And that is why we focus a lot here on food as medicine. And during this program, we're going to continue to discuss what are some of the foods that you need to consume if you're high, if you have high blood pressure, what are some of the foods you need to consume to lower your blood pressure and possibly become like Freddie by getting off drugs. Correct. All right, Freddie. So you're saying that you start to sleep better, maybe a little longer. 
right? Yes. And um, you start to exercise. Correct. All right. So how does sleep affect one's blood pressure? Now, we all know also that adequate sleep is medicine. When one is stressed and when one doesn't, you know, get adequate sleep, then there's certain hormones that are elevated that could increase the blood pressure. We'll talk about that later. So, Freddie, how are you doing right now? I am doing, uh, you know, I feel so blessed, mm -hmm. you know, because, uh, you know, when I, when, when, you, when, I, when I see you on February the 7th mm -hmm. and you told me that morning, you don't need blood pressure anymore. Blood you know, pressure medication. Medication anymore. <laughs> you were very doubtful, I must say, Fred. You did not believe me. Am I right? Correct. And then you kept coming back asking me, Doc, are you sure? I've been checking my blood pressure. And after trying it for a couple of days, then you became more convinced. Convinced. And then you started to actually just drop the medication. Correct. Now, go ahead, Freddie. Yes. Um, you know, usually when you, when, when you do a change mm -hmm. in your life, you know, something that you did every day for three, one years, and all of a sudden something changed, you know, you think that you are dreaming. Yes, it's, yes. it's difficult. It's yeah. difficult. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, I was so afraid about, you know, something could happen to me, you know. <laughs> You're going to have a stroke, <laughs> right? Yeah, correct. <laughs> but then, you know, when I went to the summit, Mm -hmm. That's the health summit the we health had summit recently in April the 11th. Right. And one of the doctor, Dr. Santana, Santana. from Dallas, mm -hmm. talked about the hypertension mm -hmm. and he recommended a book, 30 Days Without Blood Pressure, something like that. Yeah. So I started reading the book and then I was absolutely 100%. You won over. You, got, you were that convinced. You, yes. Right. That I, I was on the right path. So good, no good. doubt in my life anymore. Very good. So if you're watching us there, now remember that if you're diagnosed with high blood pressure, now there are different causes for high blood pressure. So you have to sit with your doctor, see what's the real cause. But if you have essential hypertension, not secondary, then you don't really have to live the rest of your life on medication or on so many drugs. You can work along with your doctor. You can try and find me my page will be there. You can find me, get information on how you can get off medication. I have three books on the market, 14 Days to Amazing Health, um, Get Healthy for Life. In these books, you will find information on how to change your lifestyle and therefore get off medication like Mr. Peralta here. Freddie, what is your usual day like? Give me a typical day. What do you have for breakfast, for lunch, and maybe supper? Well, you know, you know, I am Dominican. You know, I am from the Caribbean, so we eat very different. You know, we don't eat tortilla. You know, we like to eat something else. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when I wake up in the morning, you know, 6 a.m., I usually do some reading, you know, mm -hmm. pray. Because, right. you know, without prayer, you don't get anything. Meditation is very important mm -hmm. for good health. Correct. Mm -hmm. You know, after that, you know, I, I do, you know, drink my water, you know, and yes. Very good. And that, it's a, that food, you know, it's fantastic. You know, hay un error. La gente cree. People believe. Que la comida saludable es mala. That healthy food is bad or it's doesn't bad. taste well. It doesn't taste good. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. That is incorrect. Es incorrecto. Mm -hmm. La comida saludable que se prepara aquí es más deliciosa que la... Muy mal, like I say, in other parts. So did you hear that? The healthy food that we prepare here, it's very, very delicious. You know what, Freddie? I know you have a lot to say. We're going to take a break and we're going to return to talk about hypertension, which is a silent killer. Let's go for a break. Now it's our turn to take care of those who saw and helped us grow. Their time is valuable. It is time to think of a professional staff who will help take care of them. We at Palimed Hospice and Palliative Care are the right choice. Our staff and 24-7 services are trusted and reliable. Call us. We are the solution you and your family need. We understand you. We are Palimed Hospice and Palliative Care.
Hello everybody, how you doing? Uh, Chef Edgar here from the Cooper Wellness Center. Uh, I just want to give you a little insight to what's been going on here at the Cooper Wellness Center for the past month. If you haven't heard, you've probably seen, I've lost weight, 15 pounds and more. How? How did I do that? Very easy. Meal preps and juices. Why waste your time cooking every single day when you could get the meals here? They're ready to go, they're nutritious, and the juices are fantastic. That's my secret to losing weight. I do my walking, I do my running, but my meal preps, I get the vitamins I need, I need the nutrition I need, and they fill me up. That's how I've been losing weight, quick. In one month, 15 pounds, they might say that's a little extreme, but my body was extreme. But now I've been losing 15 pounds and more, and uh, I love it. Why, I've told my wife, I've even become a little bit more flexible. I could touch my toes now. Before, when I was eating all that junk food, all that fat, I wasn't very flexible. I had a hard time breathing. I had a hard time putting on my clothes. Now, I feel like brand new. I want you to try the same thing as well. Why? Because it's better for you. It's a, head, it's a very healthier life for you. And you gotta try it out. Come to the, uh, to the Cooper Wellness Center. You enjoy it. The juices are fantastic. They're fresh. They're made every day. You gotta come quick because everybody's coming and buying them. They're flying off the shelves. Our meals, they're made fresh. If you want them warm and hot, call us and we'll have it ready for you. But here at the Cooper Wellness Center, that's what we focus on. Lifestyle, changing everything and using food as medicine. So I'll be here, Chef Edgar. We'll be here to answer any questions you have. I lost all this weight. I want you to lose it as well. Now I have to buy new clothes and that's perfect with me. If I don't have to buy larger clothes, that's okay. I went from a extra large, I'm back to a medium and I want you to do it as well. Con quien? Are in? Okay. All right, so I want to welcome you for joining us. I have Jerry Tamayo from the Philippines watching. Marvin, welcome. And Beverly Anderson, Edgar, our chef is watching. Please like and share the page. We want more people to be watching us. So if you're on the page, please share. We're discussing hypertension, the silent killer. And you have just heard the story of Freddie. Freddie had high blood pressure for 30 years he was on medication he came in changed his lifestyle and his blood pressure is now normal off medication as i mentioned earlier there are about 100 million people living in the united states with high blood pressure what is high blood pressure have you checked your blood pressure recently you probably have not. Now remember I said high blood pressure is a silent killer. So you could have high blood pressure and don't even know it. What is high blood pressure? Now if you were to go to a local pharmacy or if you were to buy the machine and check your blood pressure, then a normal blood pressure would be anything below 139 over 89. I'm going to clarify. That could be normal or if you have from 120 to 139 over 89, then you could be prehypertensive. So what blood pressure do you want to have? You want to have a blood pressure at about 120 or below over 70, 80. Now, if your blood pressure is less than 90 over 60, then that might be low if you're on medication. So why do we call high blood pressure the silent killer? Now, high blood pressure can lead to many complications. One of the most common complications is a stroke, what we call a hemorrhagic stroke. The blood pressure, the blood vessel will rupture and therefore there might be bleeding in the brain and then that could cause a stroke. There are other complications, cardiovascular diseases, renal failure, problem with the vision, these are complications from high blood pressure. Now, you might be wondering, sometime I have a headache, could I be having hypertension? If you're having headache as a result of high blood pressure, that means the blood pressure is severely high because usually there are no real symptoms for high blood pressure. 
Now, how do we get pressure anyway? You know, for you to be alive, you need to have pressure, pressure in the, in the vessels. How do you then, how do you produce pressure? Now, the heart is the pump that pumps blood. Now, when the heart pumps, then there is a pressure that is produced. That pressure is called the systolic pressure. That's the pressure at the top. When the heart relaxes, then that pressure is the diastolic pressure. That's the bottom number. So we want to have a pressure, a blood pressure between 120 over 80 or so, and that is comfortable. I'm going to move over here to my heart, and we're going to discuss something here. Let me just walk with me here. All righty. So this is the main pump in the body. Now, of course, this morning I call around to some hospital and I said, um, can you connect me to the intensive care unit? And uh, the nurse came on and I said, I am in need of a heart. And there was silence on the phone. And I said, OK, the heart you give to the patient after the open heart surgery. So I have a heart here for you. And you know exactly where to find that heart is in the center of the chest, slightly to the left. And if you see here, the heart has many chambers, four chambers. But we're going to talk about the left chamber here. This is the left ventricle. This is the right ventricle. Now, when the heart works, what happened? The heart here is a pump. And when it contracts, then blood is pushed out to the rest of the body. So we're going to push our blood out here. So here we go. We're pushing the blood out. And this is the blood vessel. And the blood pressure is measured here. Now, if, the, if this vessel is very stiff, all right, let me go to the back here. If this is very stiff, then the pressure here will be increased. So this then should be flexible. We should be able to dilate this or else the patient is going to have high blood pressure. All righty. Now, what happened during a stroke? I am going to tell you what happened. So this is what happened. Let me see if I can get some bleeding to happen here. So then we have the heart, the the blood vessel here, the pressure here is very, very high. So what happens is that the wall here becomes thin and then it ruptures easily. Let's see if we could get some something happening here. So I'm going to rupture that. We're going to try to pump some blood through. Let's see what happens here. Let me see. All right. So my experiment is not working very well. But what happened here is that the blood will leak out into. Let's see if we can get some action here. The blood is going to leak out into the tissue in the brain. So you're going to have some bleeding occurring. And then that is could be a massive stroke. Patient's going to become unconscious probably. Patient might have some weakness someplace. And this is one of the complications for high blood pressure. So if you don't know your blood pressure, then you need to see your doctor or just go to the local pharmacy and ask to get your blood pressure checked. I'm going to be right back and I'll probably repeat this experiment. So don't go away. I'll be right back with more on high blood pressure. Welcome back to Get Health with Dr. Cooper. As you know, the aim of this show is to educate you on how to use natural remedies for good health. Exercise, nutrition, stress management, water and the sun. Today we are in our living active segment and we have something very special for you. Ramsey, welcome. Tell us what you have Thank for you, us. Thank you Dr. Cooper. Thank you for having me. Uh, what we're going to have is aquatic exercise. Uh, this benefits elderly, this benefits uh, the obese population, also diabetics, and also a good way to start to exercise. If, you've never, if you haven't been in active lately, yeah, it's a great step to get going, uh, get everything going. So what we're gonna start with is an A skip. We're gonna come here straight forward, nice and simple. This is a simple demonstration. This is the advanced demonstration right here. So the advanced demonstration is just gonna have that knee come up a lot faster and thrust their way up, boom. Boom, each time, they're gonna be coming down and back, down and back, same thing, boom. Nice and controlled, nice and controlled, there you go. And we notice how the advance is bringing that knee 
Hi, making that water splash. Don't be worried. It's just, just we're getting that work done. Now here we're focusing on the ligament activating coming up and down, okay? So now we're gonna do the B skip out. The B skip out is just gonna pertain of you pretty much kind of like kicking the door down, kicking the door down, nice and controlled. The, the basic portion is just gonna do it as you can, nice and controlled, the way she kicks out, focus on that knee driving up. Now in the advanced section, now she's gonna do it with a little bit more arm movement and a little bit more oomph behind the kick. Now she's really kicking the door down. Bam, bam, there you go. Get it done, get it done. There you go, there you go, good job. Notice how the advance is really thrusting. Thrusting that knee up, thrusting that knee high. Good job, good job, good job. Now what we're gonna get into is the high knees, slow and high knees fast. Here in this segment, I want the basic just to go nice and controlled. Now pick it up, a little bit faster, a little bit faster, 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 pick it up. Do as much as you can. Now the advanced section, we're gonna distinguish the big difference on the speed. Slow and fast. Let's go, let's go. Nice and slow, nice and controlled, nice and controlled. All right, now pick it up. Boom, 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 slow. Nice, 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 fast. Pick it up, boom, 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 boom. Now she's gonna bring it back the same way, doing the same thing. Let's go. Bring it back, bring it back. Boom. Fast, 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 slow. There you go. Fast, 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 fast. Finish it, finish it. Slow. Good job. Good job. Hey, they are working. Don't believe it. Believe it or not, they are working. All right, so now we're going to go into the side step, right? The side step, the basic, we just want you to go just walking sideways and involve the core. Start working that side leg muscle and just nice and controlled. Open yourself up. Don't be uh, making small steps. Make big steps, big wide steps. Over here in the advanced portion, we're gonna stay low. We're gonna stay low and open up, boom. Open up, there you go, stay low, stay low, stay low. Now you notice how the advanced, how the basic is just coming nice and smooth, nice and smooth, good job. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low. There you go, there you go. Good job, good job. Now what we're gonna do is walk backwards. Walk backwards, the basic walk, that's all we're gonna do. Just basically walk backwards, try to get, try to give a little bit more speed on it, go a little bit faster, try to create the tempo a little bit faster so you activate more of that hamstring, okay? Now the advanced portion, she's gonna drop her hips and keep, her low, keep herself low and come a little bit fast. Let's go, boom. Quick, 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 quick. There you go, there you go. Work those arms, work those arms. Good job, good job. Now bring it back, bring it back. Nice, 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 nice. Good job, good job. What I love about this exercise, uh, just working in the water in general, we have a lot less pressure on our joints. Uh, we have a lot less uh, injury prone. We're you know, gonna take care of our ligaments, working them all the way up, working them all the way down. On this one, we're gonna do a squat. All we're gonna do is a squat, jump. Just squatting, jumping straight up. On the, on the basic portion, do what you can. This is, you know, um, in regard of a heavy set person, diabetic person, or anything in that regard. Just do it nice and controlled, as high as you can go. Push it, push it. Try to push yourself if you can. And in the advanced portion, this is where we're gonna notice that big difference. I want her to explode up, bring your knees high, and go up, boom, there you go. Straight up, boom, boom. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Nice and controlled, there you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. Let's just wait for right here. Come on, bring it back, bring it back. We're almost done, almost done. Let's go, let's go. You will get water splashed in your face, so if you do, uh, the advanced portion, make sure to bring goggles or have some glasses handy. They will help out so you don't get that splash in your, in your face. Come on in, Dr. Cooper. I hope you like this segment. Wow, Randy, I just love this segment. Now you are there. If you're elderly, if you're overweight, you're disabled, 
this is the exercise for you Randy thank you so much and we'll see you again soon so here we are at Cooper Wellness Center we have delicious juices prepared just for you specially blended for your medical problems for example I have in my hand hibiscus chia goodness now did you know that hibiscus plant has a chemical that is equivalent of one of the blood pressure medication captopril benazepril zestril so if you were to take a glass of hibiscus chia goodness a day you can see the benefit in your blood pressure so come along to Cooper Wellness Center and get this delicious juice for your blood pressure and then I have another one here this is liquid energy believe me if you're tired if you're fatigued just come over this has specially blended chia seeds carrot lemon oranges there are many many health benefits from here we have vitamin a we have fiber we have beta carotene which helps to fight cancer so these juices are specially blended just come in and ask us let us know what your medical problem is and we will serve you up one of these fantastic juices and then many people have heard about the green juice green power kale kale is one of the cancer fighting vegetables it has vitamin a it has um, beta carotenoid it has fiber antioxidant good for your health it will boost your immune system and most importantly you can lose weight and you can prevent cancer with one of our juices and then let me move on this is aloha aloha has pineapple pineapple has vitamin c vitamin c is good for cancer it, it also has aloe vera aloe vera has a lot of fiber it will help you to prevent constipation so come over and get one of our aloha and then i have here hunger buster i tell you people are going crazy with this one it has chia seed beets it has carrot beets are very good for blood pressure beet has nitric oxide beet has vitamin a beta carotenoid which is going to prevent cancer the nitric oxide is going to lower your blood pressure it's good for your heart what else can you ask for come over and then i have in my hand here revitalizer this is specially blended with carrot and various um, fruits to increase your immune system come over if you're tired of getting colds or tired of getting sick come and get a revitalizer and you can live again and then in my hand I have spicy greens spicy greens specially blended with lemon green apple lots of fiber lots of vitamin C this can help boost your immune system and also help in constipation as well as lower your blood pressure and one of our best-selling juices this is our turmeric sunrise you must have heard about turmeric turmeric is that fantastic uh, herb or plant used in Asia turmeric is great for inflammation for joint pain turmeric also is good for building your immune system turmeric has a lot of magical quality so come over and try our turmeric sunrise and then finally heart vitality heart disease is the number one disease causing death in the world but did you know that you can prevent heart disease with food so here we have beet heart vitality beet has nitric oxide nitric oxide dilates your blood vessel and lower your blood pressure and get more blood to your heart this is fantastic to prevent heart disease come over and enjoy one of these juices if you have any disease we'll see you at Cooper Wellness Center
All right, guys, so we had some technical difficulties and we had to take a break and now we're back in. Um, I have here with me Freddie Peralta. Freddie had high blood pressure for 30 years and he changed his lifestyle and therefore he got off the medication. Now, we just showed you an exercise segment. We spoke a little bit about food and I want to just remind you that high blood pressure is one of the leading causes of heart failure death, stroke, and renal failure in this country. We have 100 million people with high blood pressure in the United States, 100 million. It is called the silent killer for a reason, because usually there are absolutely no symptoms, no headache, no dizziness, usually unless the blood pressure is urgently high severely high so therefore i recommend that if you have not checked your blood pressure recently then go and see your doctor or go to the pharmacy and have your blood pressure checked now what is high blood pressure any reading above 139 over 90 can be regarded as high blood pressure we have different stages of high blood pressure if you're 121 to 139 over 89, then that is prehypertension. So you need to have your blood pressure less than 120 over 80 if you want to be on the safe side. For me, my blood pressure is usually 110, 115 or so over 80 or 70. Now, many years ago, I was 25 pounds heavier and my blood pressure was in the prehypertensive uh, section. But I changed my lifestyle as well and my blood pressure now is very very normal now i want to take the time to welcome some of the people joining us i saw um, some of my cousins from england the hogs i've seen quite a few people here in the valley and all over the country i want to welcome you remember you're watching get health with dr cooper now freddie you might want to recap because we were off the air for a little bit Tell the new viewers. Okay, a pesar de que salimos del aire, la presión mía se quedó igual. Oh, Gracias. even though we were off the air, his blood pressure remained normal. Yes. Great job, Freddie. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself because there are new people joining us and we were off the air for a little while. Tell us about yourself. Okay, mi nombre es Freddie Peralta. Yo soy nativo de la República Dominicana, una isla caribeña. My name is Freddie Peralta. I was born in the Dominican Republic, an island in the Caribbean. Yes, I am 62 years old. All right, you're 62. So for 31 years, I was taking uh, high blood pressure medicine. Mm -hmm. Now I am so happy that, you know, I say goodbye to that, you know, February the 7th of right. this year. How did it happen? Thank to you. Well, I you're welcome. Yes. All right. Tell the audience what happened. Lo que yo hice para la gente que habla español. This is what I did for those who speak Spanish. Primero que yo uh, hablé con, con usted. After I spoke with Dr. Cooper. Y usted me indicó el programa. And then she indicated the program. Que ofrece el centro de prevención. That we offer estamos. here at the Cooper Wellness Center, right here where we are recording right now. Y en ese programa fundamentalmente son tres cosas. Educación. In this program there Basically, three things, education, Ejercicios. exercise, nutrición. and nutrition. Con esos tres elementos, usted entra dentro de un estilo de vida diferente, lifestyle different. Yeah, with these three elements, then you enter a new lifestyle. Ahora, una pregunta, doctora, ya que tengo All aquí right. la oportunidad. He's going to ask me a question. Go ahead, Freddy. Cuando se dice que cuando uno tiene con la edad, la presión, el número de la presión va a ser un poquito más alto. Yeah, so they say that with age, the blood pressure will be a little higher. ¿Eso oh. es cierto? Yes, that's true. This is really true. So usually, I gave you the stages for high blood pressure. However, for the older patients, then we allow for a little higher blood pressure. So you are, you're correct, Freddie. Oh, okay. So That's as you age, the blood pressure will go up. Now, we usually don't like to lower too fast an elderly patient's blood pressure because then they'll become dizzy and weak, and then they could have a, a syncopal episode, a fainting spell, which we do not want to have. Anything you want to tell me? Tell us, Freddie. What is your diet like right now? What are you eating now? In front of us, there are 
a lot of healthy foods. Okay. All right. So are you eating anything from here, Freddie? Everything I over here, that, you know, I see over here, I am, you know, I put on my... In your stomach, stomach. Yes. everything that's here, he's consuming. For example, you know, this is good for for my blood pressure. That's right. The lycopene. Lycopene. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, any uh, any of these beans and lentils beans? because yeah. you have good good fats here. Yes. And of course, no cholesterol and lots of protein. Correct. Now behind us, we're going to talk about this that you're seeing here. Okay. So this is a blood vessel. Okay, this is normal, and then here, oops, so we lost her thing. Okay, there we go. So you can see two vessels there, one here and one there. Let's talk about what's happening there. You notice we have this name here, nitric oxide. Nitric oxide, what nitric oxide does, it dilates your blood, blood vessel, making it a little larger, and then the pressure inside will go down. What are the foods, the natural foods that can do that? So we have arugula. Arugula is just a leafy green vegetable. We have cilantro, lettuce, all these greens. All these greens are great, beet greens. These are great uh, sources of nitric oxide. So if this is your blood, uh, your blood vessel, we have a smaller opening here, so the pressure here is higher. Now, when you consume all these foods, then what happens is that you increase your nitric oxide, the blood vessel will dilate, the blood pressure will lower, and then we'll have more blood going to the heart and to the brain. I think this is what happened to you because you're now consuming more leafy greens, right? Correct. More beets. Yeah. And right here, can you tell us what we have here, Freddie? Okay, well, you know, this is the, oh no, this is the one I love, you know. First, this is going to be the one, and this is going to be number two. This All is right, the one. what do you have here? This is the hibiscus. Hibiscus? You know, now I buy hibiscus not only over here, I also go to the store. That's right. For the flowers. Right. do my drink. So for you from the Caribbean, this is called, um, from Mexico, it's called... Agua de Jamaica. Jamaica, in the Caribbean is called sorrel. There is a chemical in here that is equivalent to angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. That's a long name, but blood pressure medicines that are in this groups are like lisinopril, captopril, zestrel. So consuming a glass of this per day could lower your blood pressure up to five points. And then what about the beet? Um, well, you know, this is so good for me also, you know, for everyone who is having the high blood pressure because the compound I have, right. how it affects, you know. Also, you know, I found, you know, what's talking about the nitro oxide. Yeah, nitric oxide, which also mm -hmm. is here in the beet. That is why we call this here heart beatality, because this will take care of your heart. This beet juice here that we have here at the Cooper Wellness Center will help to lower your blood pressure. Go ahead. Uh, también yo me he dado cuenta que a través del ejercicio yo puedo también relajar un poquito las... Right. Also I've found that through exercise I can also relax the, um, the blood vessel wall and lower the, the blood pressure. Very good point because we know that exercise is medicine. For you to see the benefit of exercise you really need to exercise about 30 minutes at least. 30 minutes a day, six days a week. How are you doing with your exercise, Freddie? Well, I do my exercise every day. Mm -hmm. So far today, twice. Twice. On this, on this I love, Sunday. I yeah. love that. <laughs> and you're going to stay healthy. I need healthy. to be ready for this program. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about stress? We all know that stress is a culprit for high blood pressure because with stress, the adrenaline and cortisol level will go up as sustaining that level will cause the blood um, vessels to to be smaller to contract and therefore that will increase the blood pressure so how are you doing with your stress management okay well first i pray you know very good meditation meditation mm -hmm. i prayed you know i um listen to music music very yeah. relaxing you say that if you listen just 20 minutes the music a day you 
get some points down. Right? There you go. Yes. Mm -hmm. I dance also, you know. Dancing, that's I exercise. Dance. That's going to increase yes. the endorphins. That's going to relax you and blood pressure will go down. Correct. What I else do you do? I like to get in touch with nature. Nature. Nature, yes. Nature, very you know, good. You see these uh, birds singing, mm -hmm. the trees, the flowers. You know, it's, that's it's, relaxing. It's about points. You know, two points is mm -hmm. good. Three points is mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. It make a difference between one stage and the other. Right, right. So you're watching Get Health with Dr. Cooper, and we're discussing hypertension. We're looking at the story of Freddie. How after 31 years of blood pressure medication, he was able to lower the blood pressure, then got off his medication. We want to motivate you. We want to stimulate you as well for you to change the lifestyle. It is not easy to change habits that you have cultivated for 50 years, 20 years. However, it is not impossible. You have listened to uh, Freddie and you know that's not impossible. We're going to take a short break and we're going to come back with high blood pressure, the silent killer. <music> Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Cooper Donkery, board certified in internal medicine. I have been practicing medicine for about 27 years. Most of the time I have practiced the traditional way, medication and medication, medication. However, despite all these fantastic drugs and great medicine, patients continue to die from their diseases or having complications, not because the drugs were not good, but we miss something very important. Many centuries ago, Hippocrates, the father of medicine said, let food be your medicine, medicine be your food. So I have changed my emphasis several years ago using food as medicine. At Cooper Wellness Center, we have now established a whole nutrition project where we have healthy organic meals, healthy organic juices, I want to welcome Chef Edgar, Executive Chef. Why don't you walk onto the stage here, Chef? How are you doing, doing Chef? Doing? Good, good. Hello, everybody. Tell them what we're doing here at Cooper Wellness Center. Here at Cooper Wellness Center, we're doing amazing things and we're seeing amazing results. We're doing our meal preps, organic, fresh, delicious, and we're doing our juices, raw, organic, and fresh. Nothing added, no sugar added. No sugars, no water, all fruits and vegetables. All natural. And we have specially blended these juices for specific diseases. So we want to reach out to you today. If you're sick and tired of medication, if you're sick and tired of doing everything the doctor says, but you're still not well, then where should they come? They should come to the Cooper Wellness Center. It's amazing. We're seeing results. We're seeing uh, patients get rid of their pills. And why they're trading in? For a juice. That's right. So if you're living in the Rio Grande Valley, then you can find us at 3604 North McCall Road. You can also find us online at cooperwellnesscenter.com. You can even order your meals online. And we have lots of packages. A lot of packages. You have to take advantage of these packages. You want meals, you want juices, you want protein balls, you want snacks. They're here at the Cooper Wellness Center. Everything's uh, organic, everything is fresh. You have to come and try them out. And doctor approved. Yes, they are. Specially made by the chefs to listen. We're here to let you feel better and live a longer life. So don't hesitate to find us, to walk over. The chef will cook you up hot meals if you want to have hot meals. And we are also catering. Yes, we are. We're catering, we have different uh, foods that we can cater. If you have an event and say, you know what, I'm tired of this fatty food, call us, get ready, and we'll set up an appointment and we'll be there catering your event. So, let food be your medicine. See us here at Cooper Wellness Center. Yes, Pauline, I realized we were cut off for a while. We had problem with the internet, but we're back on. We're going to stay on for a couple of minutes. We'll do some recap for those who missed it. I want to welcome Agnes Day. You're always with us. Um, welcome. Please share and like Mini Carnes. Thank you for your dedication. Please share and like um, Sandra. Dr. Sandra, thank you for watching us. Marcia, 
Rosalinda, my office manager, thank you so much. Please share and like her page. Pat Pinnock, I don't know where you're watching from. Thank you. Share and like Beth Beal, I don't know where you're watching from. Marvin, thank you so much for watching. Share and like, we're discussing high blood pressure, the silent killer. 100 million people in the United States alone with high blood pressure. High blood pressure is the leading causes of heart failure, stroke, kidney failure, and even death. Um, we know that if you're placed on high blood pressure medication, this is not a lifetime sentence. You can become like Freddie, who was on high blood pressure medication for 31 years, but after he has discovered food as medicine, and how to manage his stress and how to exercise, he's now off all medication and he's doing very well. So you can do the same. Joy Marshall, thank you for joining. Rose Dancer, thank you so much. Remember to put where you're watching from. Remember to like and share the page because I do believe this information is vital. If you have not checked your blood pressure in the last six months, make sure you get your blood pressure checked. Now, what should be your number? Your number should be below 140. Ideally though, below 120, because in the range of 120 to 139, you're pre-hypertensive. You don't want to be pre, you want to be normal. For me, my blood pressure is in the one teens. Now, how can you change your lifestyle? What can you do naturally? to lower your blood pressure and then get off your medication or to stay healthy. One of the things that you must do is meditation. Scientists have realized that patients who meditate, patients who have that connection with the divine, tend to live 10 years longer. Connecting, having hope and happiness will lower your blood pressure, put you in a state of relaxation, and that will not only lower blood pressure, but will be good for obesity, for diabetes, and for many other diseases. All right, so stress management is absolutely important, and connecting is important. Having a wonderful relationship with your family, that is so vital. And of course, nutrition. Nutrition is the number one risk factor for diseases. Then nutrition is also your medicine. On my table right now, I have fantastic, healthy, foods that I really want you to, um, to pay attention to. Many people believe that when you change your meals, then if you become mostly a plant-based, then you're going to be protein deficient. That is not so. So on this side here, I have sources for good, healthy protein. Here I have black beans. One cup of black bean will provide you with about 40 grams of protein. How many grams of protein do you need? Well, if you're average size male, you need about 60 grams of protein. Average size female, about 45 grams. I have black beans, I have lentils, different colors lentils. I have chickpea, I have nuts and seeds. All these will give you significant amount of protein, fiber, vitamins, nutrients, and everything that your body needs to stay healthy. I have on this side, fruits and vegetables. Here you have nitric oxide in some of these vegetables, which will dilate your blood pressure, your blood vessel, and lower your blood pressure. There are fiber, leucopenes, lycopenes. There are so many different nutrients and vitamins right here that will not only lower your blood pressure, but will help you lower your weight. Now, scientists believe that if you were to lower your weight about 10, 7 to 10 percent, if you're overweight and you reduce your weight 7 to 10 percent, that will significantly lower your blood pressure, lower your sugar, lower your risk for fatty liver as well. Now, I have here um, fantastic nutritional juices are sold here at Cooper Wellness Center. I have heart vitality, and we just discussed that in beets we have nitric oxide. Nitric oxide will open your blood vessel, dilate the blood vessel, and then lower your blood pressure. I have here um, hibiscus 
chia goodness. This is made from hibiscus flowers. In Jamaica, we call this sorrel. In Mexico, it is called uh, agua de Jamaica. Very, very good for lowering blood pressure. Actually, we believe that this um, hibiscus flower has a chemical that is equivalent to a blood pressure group of medication that we call ACE inhibitors, angiotensin converting enzyme reductase inhibitors. And these are your lisinopril, your zestril, your benazepril. So this here is equivalent to taking 10 milligrams of those medication. Let's look here. In the earlier section of our show, we discuss that in these green leafy vegetables here, arugula, cilantro, uh, lettuce, basil, beet greens, all here, there is a chemical that is called nitric oxide. This is what it, it does in your body. So this is your blood vessel. This is the wall of the blood vessel here. And this is the lumen. So the blood flows through here. The smaller the lumen, the higher the blood pressure. So therefore, with the nitric oxide from these vegetables, what happens is that we have relaxation of the wall. You can see the thinning of the wall here. The lumen now has increased in size, and therefore there are more space for the blood. The blood pressure is lowered. So this here is very important. So listen. If you want to lower your blood pressure naturally, then make sure that in your pantry, in your refrigerator, you have all of these vegetables and all that I have here on my table. Hypertension, as I say, is a silent killer, but you do not have to die from high blood pressure. There are certain things you can do. Let's list what you need to do as of today. But before I list that, let me take the time to welcome some people that have joined me. Paula Chang, Joseph Caparuso, Dr. Caparuso, welcome. Manuel Sanchez, and all of you, I'd like you to share and like the page. Because remember that here at Get Health with Dr. Cooper, I want to empower you to use lifestyle modification to live a healthier life. And remember, high blood pressure doesn't have to take your life. You don't have to have a stroke from high blood pressure if you know what you need to do. First, you need to manage your stress well. Find a way to relax. Go for a walk. Call a friend. Go for hiking. Relaxation is important. Exercise. Exercise will increase your endorphin, will put you to a state of relaxation that will lower your blood pressure. If you drink coffee, consider decreasing or change to decaf because coffee is a stimulant. It will increase the work of the heart and will cause your blood pressure to go up. Lose weight. If you're overweight, lose weight because patients who are overweight tend to have more blood volume. They tend to have more resistance and therefore the blood pressure will be higher. Those that lose seven to 10% of their body weight will significantly drop their blood pressure by seven to 10 points. All right, what else you need to do? Of course, you need enough rest. If you do not rest, you can try this. Stay up all night, then check the blood pressure the following day. You're going to realize the blood pressure is going to be a couple of points higher. When you're stressed, with lack of uh, sleep and rest, the body will produce hormones, adrenaline. These will then put you in a state of anxiety, a state of flight and fight. Blood pressure will be high. If that is sustained, you will have high blood pressure that could lead to heart disease. So rest is important, drink enough water and make sure you're staying away from fat and cholesterol. And most importantly, remember, there's always hope. Trust in God is very important. So as I leave you, I want you to remember Freddie Peralta's story that after 31 years of high blood pressure medication, he became healthier by changing lifestyle and he's now medication free. You can do the same. There is always hope. So remember to continue watching, 
share, like the page, and remember that I have a couple of books on the market, 14 Days to Amazing Health, which will give you step-by-step -step guide on how to change lifestyle. And then Get Healthy for Life will give you nine secret pillars of health, which could help you as you walk your way to amazing health and longevity. I'd like you to share and remember that God wants you to be healthy. He says in 3 John 2, that beloved, I wish above all that you may prosper and be in good health. So God bless you and I'll see you next week, same time. And remember, like and share the page and subscribe. See you then. Bye-bye.